Oh my god. You can see I don't smoke. I just have that from a from someone I know and I don't smoke. So I don't know how how lighters work. I just wanted to click here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and oh, why is it so I'm not a kid. He's like Too small to use a uh, lighter. Maybe the other arm um, is stronger. <laughs> One eternity later. I lit the candle. <laughs> Hello, my fixer. If you already know who I am, welcome back to my channel. And if you don't know me yet, welcome to my channel. I'm happy that you found me. I'm foxes, like you can see. Like, that's... yeah. It's kind of embarrassing that the first thing you've seen of me is struggling to turn on the lighter. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. I don't smoke. I, I did smoke when I was a kid, like a small... What do you call a kid? I think I smoked like with 12 or something. It was just because I wanted to fit in. I guess so my former friend just gave me a cigarette and we lit it and we smoked but I was never really addicted to it so I I stopped yeah but that's not the topic right <laughs> also like you can see there's another background again because I wasn't happy I wasn't happy I don't like the bed when I sit on it I'm still in my bedroom but that's another space of my bedroom and there's the window and I didn't I didn't I didn't like it I didn't like it at all so I needed another background and I hope I like that more I have the projector in my background it's usually with lasers and stuff but those lasers if you want to get this uh, universe projector you have to know that those lasers, and if you accidentally look into it, you get very dizzy for like 10 minutes and you don't feel good at all. And I had to, to hide the lasers on a piece of paper, so the lasers are not there right now, because I don't like those lasers. They're green lights, they're green, so they're always green. Maybe you saw a video or something with like really really beautiful stars but those are green lasers and it's not pretty and it doesn't look like real stars at all so just so you know there are green lasers in this projector but those waves back there i really love that a lot so i didn't give it back again so i have it now because i love waves if you know i'm mintaken i'm coming from a world with water so that kind of suits me a lot but also it makes me dizzy a lot if i look into it too much it makes it dizzy and it's even worse with the lasers on so for those waves is it's okay and you even can change the colors i just love like purple purpley stuff i love purple it's my favorite color <laughs> So I'm at home again. I'm at home for a few days and I didn't take my camera into the neurologist's waiting room because there were other people and I didn't want to dis disrupt their peace, their waiting time. So I couldn't, couldn't record anything because in Germany it's really rude if you just talk. They would just look at you. And they would even get like kind of upset it's just rude here and you don't do that in germany i don't know if you can do it anywhere but i kind of think sometimes it's kind of like japan here because you shouldn't talk loudly while they are like in a um, train or in a bus you shouldn't you shouldn't do that <laughs> but i did record in my psychiatry's waiting room psycho psych yeah in the waiting room for my psychologist <laughs> because there was no one 
with me in this room. I think it's kind of like a hallway because it's not really a room and people will go up the stairs and down the stairs and up the stairs and down the stairs and and because I have like a social phobia it's kind of weird if someone just catches me me recording a video and their waiting room is kind of weird. <laughs> Here I am at the waiting room of my psychologist. I show you. That's it. There is the door to my psychologist. I hear him talking. Something to read. Some more to read. There is so much going on in here. So many people coming from upstairs and from downstairs. Oh my goodness. So I will talk about what was going on. So I talked with my psychologist and he was just there to give me a transfer. The transfer is gone now. I already gave it to my to the neurologist. So I can't show you and I can't show you anyways because there's too much personal information on there. But we were talking about stuff we're always talking about. He always calls me very smart. And I had an IQ test and it was pretty pretty dope. <laughs> Something Something just fell. What was that? So yeah, we were talking about something I remembered a while ago because sometimes traumas kind of... You randomly think about your traumas and that's what happened. So I talked to him about that and at the end of the appointments I got my transfer paper. <laughs> He's scanning my cock right now. Just testing if everything's okay. I hope it is. That's where I'm talking to him. <laughs> Look at all of this. And <laughs> it was really, really, really difficult because um, through the weekend I was really, really nervous. And the closer the appointment got, the more nervous I've gotten, but I, I've got, but it wasn't as bad as I had it before because I really wanted to go there because I want to know what's going on. So Monday came, I was nervous AF <laughs> and everything kind of went downhill. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I went downstairs because I live in a on the third floor of this apartment. I went downstairs with my water, with my bag, also a backpack, because I wanted to take with me my my papers I got from other doctors, like for example, the eye doctor, the picture I've sh shown you before that video here. I wanted to take it with me and it was good because she used it and she wanted to have it scanned and anything, everything. So I went downstairs, I sat down in the car and I cannot drive a car because I don't see enough for that. But I had someone who drove me there. So I sat down next to the person who was driving and suddenly I felt something, something very wet my leg and I was like what is that now and then I realized that my my bag my handbag where the water is inside just was a river <laughs> and my little handbag my little Hamburg handbag was flooded so that's great and I just put it down on my on my feet. <laughs> it was just like, oh no. So I got my wallet out of my handbag so it won't get wet as well. 
There are also my cards in there. I have to give to, my, to the doctor later on, so I got it out and just placed it away and got the bottle and for some reason it just wasn't closed properly or something. I, I have no idea because I I made sure at home that it's closed properly. I even turned it upside down so I would see if it's leaking, but it didn't. So I have no idea why it was leaking in my bag, but it did. <laughs> and as soon as I as I took my wallet out and just laid it on something else, I <laughs> I realized that I forgot my transfer paper. So yeah, I said the person who was driving and I forgot it and oh, <laughs> we had to turn back and get it. And while we were going back, I just got so freaking dizzy because my psyche can't take it much. <laughs> I'm really like, if something happens, I'm really, really stressed. And it felt like I am just collapsing any moment. But I did some breathing exercises and I was okay then. So I got the transfer, went back and we drove to the neurologist. <laughs> and at that point everything was okay. <laughs> Nothing else happened. I was just dizzy. Like five minutes and while driving it went away. At the neurologist I was waiting quite a bit. I was waiting maybe an hour in the waiting room and there were two people next to me. They were standing next to me while keeping distance because COVID and were talking and talking. I was going crazy in there but then they called my name and I was allowed to go into the neurologist's office. Before that also the waiting area was full with people and I couldn't fit in there. So I had to wait <laughs> outside on the steps of the sta on the stairwell and was sitting there and was just um, filling out a paper with what medication I take and if I have any allergies and what my issue is, why I'm there and stuff. She told me something else could be the issue. She wanted me to talk about my mental issues, so I told her. And I also told her that I'm scared of doctors and hospitals. And she told me that I might have... I might have to go into a hospital because there are some things they can't do there. And the doctors and just the hospital can do it. So I had to lay down and she did some tests and... I had my blood taken and I hate that, but it's okay. I'm not really scared anymore of that. I, when I was a child, it was really weird because I was always screaming and kicking when they wanted to draw my blood. But right now I'm just like, oh, no one likes that. But if it has to be done, yeah, I'll just do it. <laughs> and I couldn't, I can't look at it at all. And I'm always getting dizzy when my blood is taken from me. She asked me if that was always like that with my weird face because one side of my face, I don't know which side it is right now, let me see. Yeah, it's my right side. And it looks kind of weird, like it's hanging down. And it is actually, it was, ever since I can remember, but it wasn't there when I was a small child. It wasn't there in my child pictures. It was just there when I was taking pictures for my <clears throat> health insurance card. And there my right side is kind of... But before that, the pictures I've seen of me I don't have that, so something had to have happened that it just is like that now. And looking straight at, at you now. It 
and she just said something looks weird in your face. My psychologist said the same thing to me, so I'm already used to that. <laughs> so at the end, uh, she told me I have to do like a brain scan. And I have an appointment now to do the brain scan. When I was calling the people who will do the brain scan, they asked me if, if I had any iron in my body and I have not. She also told me that I shouldn't wear mascara or eyeliner when I was there, but I don't use makeup because I suck at makeup and uh, yeah. <laughs> Then she also told me if COVID is still there, I have to, you know, this mask and I have to make this thing out, like that thing that's on your nose, I have to pull that out because you can't have it there. <laughs> it's kind of creepy to think about because we just fly around in there. <laughs> I have to make a brain scan again. The last time I did that was 2017. I know, it's been a while, <laughs> but I still remember it clearly. It was horrible. <laughs> That's my appointment. I'm just hiding the address. My appointment. <laughs> On the 21st of September, 11 a.m. and that's my transfer my transfer oh it smells good Ooh, <laughs> i can't really show anything what's on the transfer because there are personal informations on there and that's what the bag looks like <laughs> so that's all of the updates i have and the next thing is this appointment i guess this appointment on the 21st September this year 11 a.m. <laughs> Until then I might have to talk about something else about the things I experienced in my childhood and about the stuff that's going on in my head sometimes <laughs> No, not what's going on in my head I'm really really into talking to spirit right now and spirit is just telling me so much stuff and I'm kind of called to talk about it, so I want to talk about it, and I just saw a light. I have to talk about it now. If you didn't subscribe yet, please hit this subscribe button and also the bell notification icon right next to it, so you'll never ever miss a single video of mine. Also, please comment, how do you like the background? Is it the best you've ever seen? On my channel or not and until next video i'm very very grateful that you watched this video and thank you so so much for watching this video until the end if you reach the end please 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 um please add a fox emoji in the comments <laughs> i love you all very very much and I am grateful for every single one of you. Thank you for watching. Huh? Goodbye. Yeah. Look at her. Pretty.